I always do one side, but never the other, so I think it's fair we look at it from Hadvar's point of view too. A lot of you seem to be closer to Hadvar's side than you are Raylof, so I will take that into mind while defending him during this video. Because my friends, today we will be looking into our next hardest decision, and that is on why you should kill Raylof and not Hadvar. So once again, before you start telling me, Irish, you can't kill them, this is pointless, two things for you, one, shut the front door, and two, you involuntarily kill the other one with whatever other one you choose. Whoever you ultimately choose in the civil war, the opposite is assumed dead. Example, if you choose Raylof and stick with the Stormcloaks, Hadvar will not appear again during the game, so it's assumed he died in Helgen because where else is he? He's not in the game at any other point. And it's just better, you know, it would make whoever you choose kind of give a bit more, you know, impact on the story and your character in general. However, as a lot of people pointed out to me, something I should have mentioned is that if you leave the cave with Hadvar, then go on to join the Stormcloaks, Raylof Raylof would be alive and vice versa, so you can actually still alternate and keep the other one alive, but it's a little bit confusing and blah blah blah, just make up your mind and pick one. But the majority of people would agree that it's just assumed the other died, and also, it makes for an interesting topic in the video. If you take these two series, well then you need to get outside. But without further ado, my Elder Scrolls loving friends, let Maik play you a tune on his flute while we delve into the next hardest decision in Skyrim. That being on the opposite decision we did earlier this week, on why you should kill the Stormcloak Revel, Raylof of Riverwood. Now, the point of these videos is to have a little bit of fun, and sometimes I do get stuff wrong, so feel free to correct me if I do, it, it does happen, but try not to take these too seriously, they are just for fun. So let's give you the info on what we do know about Hadvar. So these two share extremely similar traits to one another from the beginning of the game until the end. They pretty much share the same dialogue for the Civil War, and there is no impact on who you pick, or is there? It seems like just a choice that's there to be there, but there's a little more to it if you really think into the politics and that side of the lore, you aren't given a whole lot of time to bond with either before you are forced to choose which one you're going to stay with. You actually get more time with Raylof than you do Hadvar, but when Hadvar is shown to you, he is shown in a light side. He is shown as a hero saving a child while willing to risk his own life to do so. Now a lot of points came up in the last video about why Hadvar was just doing his job, but we will get to that. So Hadvar is obviously more than likely also from Riverwood, he has family there which is an obvious giveaway from the beginning. He recognizes is Bleak Falls Barrow when you're walking by and mentions how he used to be told ghost stories about it when he was younger, but the only way for him to know this would be if this is where he lived. Raylof and Hadvar have two counters overall, one when Hadvar is naming Raylof off the list for execution, and her second is when they meet each other during the Helgen attack, something you get to witness front up. Hadvar comes off as having immediate anger and hurt in his voice when confronting his old friend, because I feel they were, I feel they were friends at some point or something happened, we don't ever get told but I'm so sure of this, 99% sure. They both said to grow up here, so they have to have some type of history, but we just don't know what that history is. So going off of this, why are we choosing Hadvar and not Raylof? Well, straight off the bat, I will mention something extremely important to why are we are taking up against Raylof, and it's to do with the Stormcloak Rebellion, the Empire, and the overall lore and politics of the situation. Raylof is part of the Stormcloak Rebellion, and maybe in some way Ulfric Stormcloak and his Stormcloaks are right in talking about why the Empire should not control Skyrim. But the Stormcloaks are super racist, something that does not bode well with a lot of people here in the real world and in the games world. Raylof might come off to be a nice guy who supports his leader, and a guy of acceptance in a lot of things, but this doesn't mean he isn't high into being a racist, even if it's hidden, just like the rest of his comrades. You don't just join the Stormcloak without knowing what you're joining up for. Using the Thalmor as an excuse to hate all elves of all sorts is pointless and dumb. Not all elves are evil and not all Nords are racist, but Raylof is much more simple-minded than Hadvar is. The only reason Hadvar didn't stop you from being executed is because, well, why would he? He doesn't know who you are, and if he was to say no to his orders, the consequences to him may be heavy-guarded. Punishment wouldn't be light within the Empire, and he would probably be deemed a traitor, so I firmly believe Hadvar disagrees 
disagrees with his captain's choice, but he did the right thing not getting involved. The Empire wants to help Skyrim, and for some reason, Raylof and his comrades can't see this. They are too concerned with seeking revenge on a force that, in the long run, wants to help. I firmly believe the Empire will strike back at the Thalmor at some point, but Ulfric doesn't see this, and the same goes for Raylof. To make life easier for you in Skyrim, you are probably better off just siding with Hadvar if you want a brighter future for Skyrim, because the Stormcloaks aren't what's best. They let their traditions get in the way, unfortunately, and racism isn't something anybody should be put up against. Yes, the Dunmer are no better after coming from enslaving the Argonians for so long, but the Dunmer in Skyrim and Solstheim aren't the same ones that enslaved the Argonians in the past. They are innocent people trying to live their lives after a catastrophic event took hold in Morrowind, something Ulfric and Raylof can't see. If Skyrim's future is racism against the innocent elves and old-fashioned habits holding everyone back, then Raylof needs to be taken out of the picture as soon as possible, so he doesn't become promoted and help in Ulfric's conquest. To fully agree with the Stormcloaks, you have to accept the racism that these guys are stuck into, and be it you're a racist or not, a lot of innocent elves are going to suffer in the long run if you let Raylof win. So do yourself the favour and choose Hadvar and let Raylof die. It's the best possible future for Skyrim. But yeah, I found out that with choosing Hadvar, there was a bit more information to go on since whoever you choose does ultimately help conquer Skyrim. So it is somewhat important in the long run, and this is what I meant by earlier when I said it would matter a bit. The Empire is best for Skyrim, or what seems to be, and that's something we just have to accept for now, with the evidence we have. Whether you disagree or not, the Stormcloaks are too far stuck in their old traditions to let win. But yeah, what choice would you guys like to see next? Are there any hardest decisions you want me to look into again? As always, I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, it always helps me out. I do tons of Elder Scrolls content and stream every day, Oblivion or Skyrim Morrow in some type of Elder Scrolls game, so make sure to stick around for it. As always, I do hope you have a great day, a great week, month, or year, and I'll see you guys next time.